been involved in law enforcement in various aspects as a detective, as a street officer, and now as a chief of police. So I uh, kind of feel like I've had a pretty well-rounded 34 years of experience dealing with different things. In Tennessee, we have the Tennessee Associations of Chiefs of Police, and we meet every two months, and uh, prescription and opioid abuse, those are some of the hot topics that we talk about regularly because we find that a good portion of those uh, of our crimes that we have committed have a relationship to a drug addiction or a drug dependence. So we're looking at maybe the two sides of it, the addiction part and the dependency part, but both of them create issues for our community. And I think that's what we're seeing more and more of. It crosses every economic barrier, every demographic, no matter what community you live in, no matter what size it is, there are going to be those issues. You know, some people seem to think it's okay if I have a prescription for something to give you one. Yeah. And that's not, that's illegal. Something I believe that everybody should be aware of in their own families, because again, go home and look at your own medicine cabinet, see what you've got, and it's got a legitimate purpose. But when it becomes illegitimate, then it becomes an issue for, for us as police. Even the dependency becomes an issue for our families. And when it affects our families, our work, then it's a community problem. And we have to work together as a community to resolve this.